Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an audio to MIDI converter or a guitar to MIDI converter in Reaper. Now I'm starting off with a new project. Let's create a new track. And we'll name it MIDI Guitar. Let's give it a color. Let's set the input where my guitar is plugged into on my computer audio interface. Right over here, turn on input monitoring and put it into record. And I'll make sure I hear my guitar. And we do. Now we should make sure the level is pretty strong. We don't want to overload or go into the red, but we don't want it to be weak either, or to be hard to track our pitch. Something like that is pretty good. So now we'll go to the track effects. We'll go to the Reaper plugins over here and choose Reattune. Now this plugin is normally used to tune vocals or any monophonic instrument with pitch. So we turn this on and we play our pitch, it'll show up over here and fix it. But we could also use it for a few other things. For one, we could tune our guitar with this plugin because any note we play is going to show up over here. And we should make sure the guitar is in tune as it'll make tracking a lot easier. That looks pretty good. Now besides tuning our guitar, we could also output MIDI with this plugin. Just choose it right here and it's going to send MIDI based on the notes we play. So now we could put an instrument plugin after it. Just double click over here and choose your favorite instrument plugin. I'm going to choose Analog Lab 3. But like I said, you could use any instrument plugin that you want. So right now it's set to bass, so it sounds like this. Or we could use a pad. Or a sequence. Or a choir. One of my favorites is to use an organ. We could also use strings. Now we can also record the output of the MIDI. Let's go back to our track. Now if we're going to record now, it's going to record the audio like this. And we don't want that. We want to record the MIDI so we can edit it afterwards. So let's go to the track recording modes and choose record output. Then we can choose to record the output MIDI right here. And now if we record it, it's going to record MIDI instead of audio. If we 
to play it back. Of course, we could edit it afterwards, maybe quantize it. This is a great way of recording our parts from guitar to MIDI, especially if you're like me and you're not a great keyboard player. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create an audio to MIDI converter or a guitar to MIDI converter in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>